What's happening everyone? It's Rod with Pow Group and in today's video we're going to do a Hexo product review. So we've got the Hexo Original Stash Flower Indica and we also have the House of Terpene Sparkling Limonene and Tonic and we also have the Molo 5 which is the 5 milligram 5 uh, milligrams of THC 5 milligrams of CBD. So first we have the Molo and let me know in the comments below if you've tried the Molo. Um, I'm really excited to try it and I'm a, a beer connoisseur. I, I love beer and obviously I don't love all the things that come with beer. So uh, high calories being one of them. Taking a look at the nutrition facts on the Molo, it's only 30 calories per bottle, 1% uh, of your daily fat intake, four grams of sugar, 15 milligrams of sodium, 20 milligrams of potassium, 50 milligrams of calcium. So relatively low across the board. I'm not sure you can see that very well on this camera, but let's give it a try. So let me know in the comments below if you tried the Molo, which one's your favorite so far. I'm definitely most excited about the Molo. So thought we'd start with that one first. It obviously looks a lot like beer. Pretty good. So out of the bottle, it tastes pretty much just like a regular beer. And it's got a little earthy taste to it, but it definitely tastes, I've tried the non-alcoholic beer. Uh, so the Prohibition Brew, for example, and that was absolutely disgusting. This I could actually drink and probably buy more. I, get, I wasn't sold on the price point, it's $8 per bottle on five milligrams of THC, five milligrams of CBD. So that to me was a little bit high, um, no pun intended. Uh, but that was certainly, that doesn't really, you know, uh, how are you gonna buy six or those or six or 12 of those on the weekend if you're going to a party? Um, you know, it's it, for, three, for three drinks, it cost me $25. So I'd like to see them get the prices down. That was my only complaint. Um, next we have the original stash. Indica, so that's the, the flower. One thing I'll say right out of the gate is the fact that they have these now in seven gram options. So you can buy a quarter before you had to buy it in the ounce form, so 28 grams. A lot of people didn't wanna, a lot of bad reviews saying that they didn't wanna buy a whole ounce to try it because what if they didn't like it, yada, yada, yada. So nice to see that they are starting to compete. This was only 20, uh, sorry, it was 30, $21 for the 3.5 gram option. The seven gram option was uh, $52 and change. Um, if you buy it by the ounce, it's about 135. So obviously some cough, cost savings on the higher that you buy. Uh, THC, this will be different on every lot number because not all products are the same. But on this lot, uh, this one was THC total 23.84%. So we'll round that up, say 24%, which is obviously really good for, uh, for a more economical option of cannabis. Other than that, um, taking a look at the bud, here's one of the, the buds. So not sure how clear that is. We'll have to get a different camera to show you guys. Maybe I'll uh, take a picture with my phone there, um, but smells good. It's got like a hash, hashy smell to it. If I had to, uh, to compare it to something, but they also have the original stash hash, which makes sense because it's probably used with the, the same weed. It's just an extract, right? So um, it does smell a lot like hash and I've tried their hash before too. It's really, really good. It was nice and clean. Um, let me know in the comments if you tried their, their hash, if you tried the original stash flower, um, which one do you like the best? I personally like the sativa the best in the, uh, in the flower. I just found it, it was a nicer bud. It, uh, it was a better, a better, uh, a better uplifting high. Um, but I've already smoked a J of that. So you'll have to just, uh, take my word for it, but I really enjoyed the, the original stash indica, I think, like I said, the the uh, sativa was my favorite. So next on the 
list is the House of Terpenes, so the Lemonine Sparkling Tonic. So I did have this before, but for the sake of this video, we'll, uh, we'll have another. And I do like the fact, just touching back to the original stash, Hexo does have earnings coming up. I'll bring up the chart as well in just a moment, but um, they do have earnings coming up at the end of October. So it's nice to see that they have options for the original stash flower now, not just the ounce option because that competes with the black market, right? So not only are we, not only are they lowering the prices, they're also allowing smaller quantities to be purchased, like a seven gram option or an eighth or what have you, so, or, or even a, a half ounce, right? So as you can see, another um, carbonated option. I was talking to my dispensary. They said they'll have the little victory cherries in, uh, which is just a sparkling water as well. So that'll be exciting to try. They said that they should have the 10 milligram option in the XMG um, very, very soon. And again, they said that they, they believe that Hexo is coming out with a 50 milligram option. So at the end of this review, I'm not really going to be able to tell you how much of a buzz or whether or not this was effective for me, because honestly, when you, when you smoke, when you, when you smoke it in a, a joint form, for example, there can be upwards of 200 milligrams of THC in one joint. So if you're smoking half a joint, which is usually what I do, that you're pulling in about 100 milligrams. So for five milligrams in one of these, um, or five milligrams in one of these, you'd have to drink, you know, a, a crazy amount. You'd have to drink 50 of them to to even compare, right? So it's it's not something that I consume. I mean, obviously, people who don't have a high tolerance may experience uh, a buzz off of it. I personally would it would take me more than I would want to spend. Um, at these prices until they are able to get the prices down. I did notice that Canopy's drinks started to come down a little bit in prices. Let me know if you've noticed prices in your area um, start to, uh, to trend down a little bit for the existing drinks, but I would like to see them get this down to around the $5 mark um, and, and come out with a, a higher milligram option as well. That's really good. The, uh, Limonene sparkling tonic. They also have another House of Terpenes option, which they didn't have, but it's going to be a cinnamon um, spinoff. There's going to be uh, two of the House of Terpenes. There's four of the little victories. So can't wait to try the other one. I think I'd be uh, more interested in the cinnamon, but this one's really good. Normally, I'm not really a lemon, a lemon uh, fan, but it, uh, it definitely has uh, a nice citrus kick to it. And uh, it's also got that little bit of earthy taste. So obviously that's to be expected. But so overall, um, I'd give this one about a 7 out of 10. I'd give the Molo um, a 9 out of 10. I really like that. That's something that I'd buy again. But um, I really like the, the House of Terpenes as well. I've tried the Canopy Growth drinks. I, there's not really uh, the Ginger, Baker Street and Ginger was good. Um, the soda, the deep space was okay. Um, definitely nice to see that uh, they have a little bit more options now. Uh, but honestly, I didn't, I wasn't a big fan of the grapefruit, uh, the canopy drink, or the lemon house plant. Just, I'm definitely digging the Hexo products a lot more um, just from the short um, t tasting that I've had. I've only tried two of their, their drinks so far. So, has me super stoked to try the rest of them. But like I said, uh, the House of Terpenes, this is by far way, 10 times better in my opinion than the grapefruit or any of the house plant drinks. And um, they're about the same price as well. So like to see them get the prices down a little bit more on that front. Uh, it just makes it hard for, like I said, anybody who's got a tolerance uh, what I'll, I'll do probably after this is I'll have a, a, a joint as well because it, it just won't be enough for me. For somebody who's, you know, is a regular user and I've been a user for, you know, many, many years, uh, decades now. So it's, uh, it's definitely something that it's nice to have as a social thing for me. But like I said, it's, uh, it's cool to see that the space is evolving and, and growing and 
and becoming more mature and there's different options that's also not that great to, to smoke and it, it smells right so it's it's nice to have these options and I can't wait until Hexo comes out with the 50 milligram option and all the other companies will uh, as well I, I believe it'll just be a matter of Health Canada easing the restrictions allowing more milligrams per serving so that'll come in time I think they're just trying to do it in a smart and responsible manner so that they they roll it out and low and go slow as they they like to say so um, definitely stoked about the the molo you got to go try it if you're a beer lover there's no way you're you're not going to like that so um, again let me know in the comments below what your favorite drinks are so far it doesn't have to be hexo it could be canopy or or any other licensed producer for that matter but let's take a look at hexo so hexo on the chart um, it's been obviously range bound here and and stuck in the 60 to 70 cent mark for quite some time taking a look at the monthly chart um, you could technically say that we changed the monthly trend because we did form a higher low and a higher high so we do have a higher low down here at the 40 cent mark and now we're just looking to set a monthly higher low to continue that that uptrend so how do we know when that higher low is set once we change the weekly trend so we're currently in a weekly downtrend you can see here we had a lower high and lower low so that would put us into a weekly downtrend so it doesn't look like the monthly higher low has been set yet but what we would want to see is a, a bounce up to a new high we pull back form a higher low and then a higher high once that higher high happens then we can be confident that the monthly higher low is set and look to get the weekly weekly uh, trend continuation um, daily you can see here we had a nasty wick all the way down to the 60 cent mark I'm not sure someone fat fingered that what happened but um, obviously that was recovered quickly in pre-market and we also changed the hourly trend here into the end of the day and you can see here there was it spiked quite a bit here at the end of the day I picked some up I added some at uh, 66 cents and you can see here we spiked into the end of the day I'm not sure what was behind that but we did spike about six percent so we'll have to see how Hexa opens in the morning if it can hold any of those gains but I did do another video on Hexo um, it was titled boomer bust so you can check that out on my channel but essentially they do have the uh, they do have the New York Stock Exchange listing requirements which they have until the end of the year basically check that video for more details um, but they do have to have their share price over one dollar or they will be at risk of getting delisted they still have the Toronto Stock Exchange but check that video out if you want to learn more about that um, so if we zoom in on any of these time frames there's not a whole lot of volume right now on Hexo so I'm personally comfortable adding a little bit I added a, a tiny bit here I also added some canopy growth we have earnings coming up at the end of uh, October so October 23rd so that's to be I think that's going to be a positive a positive turnout so it'll all depend on canopy and other sectors or other companies in the sector as well but I think from the last earnings report here where we we rocketed it to 129 we we just it was poor timing the the dilution news came afterwards and the market started to to correct and the the fact that we're not testing those highs even though spies at all-time highs is also another red flag so I'm personally looking to accumulate a uh, long-term position but I'm also in no rush to to hop in here either I'm still waiting to get some confirmation that you know this is a, a potential bottom here but there's not really any signs of that yet we don't have any daily support down here until the 60 cent level and then like I said 40 cent is the monthly higher low so if you're like me maybe you're looking to scale in on three or four or five different orders whatever that may be just take however much you want to allocate how much capital you want to allocate in the end and just divide that up into four or three and then maybe scale in every 10 percent 
And if we start to trend the other direction, you could also scale in and average up. There's a lot of different ways that you could, you could play off of that. But personally, I'm starting to accumulate a hexo position. And if we take a look at the weekly chart, you can see that we did start to cross on the stochastic. So that's a little bit bearish, that indicator, but we haven't crossed the MACD, but it's certainly looking like it wants to uh, get there. And we did cross through the 10 week moving average, which tends to be a bearish signal as well. Taking a look at Hexo on the daily. So we have, we did dip below the 200 or the 100 day moving average. And we're sort of just bouncing in around here now. So we finished the day at 69 and we'll have to keep an eye on that 50 day moving average, which is the 72 cent. So if we can get over 72 cents, the next resistance we have is 83, which is the day that the drinks got listed on the SQDC. And we saw some, some hype in the stock at that point. So, Oh man, that Molo is fantastic. So again, just to recap, the there's been no real official press release from Hexo yet either. If that does happen to come out in the next few days, I don't see that having a huge impact uh, as it's already been priced in. Most people have already uh, sampled them, have, have bought them and tried them. So if you're banking on that, I certainly wouldn't, uh, wouldn't bank too hard because it's probably baked into the price at this point. So thanks so much for tuning in to my Hexo product review. Again, let me know in the comments below what your favorite drink is. If you've tried the original stash, which one do you like more, the Indic or the Sativa? Which, how does it compare to other uh, competitors in the space? So did you, have you tried Canopy's uh, cheaper option, which is the Tweed ounce? Um, I tried that one as well. I, maybe I can do another review on that one, but I do know there was a lot of people looking for reviews on Hexo, so I wanted to give that to you guys. Hopefully you found this information valuable. Consider subscribing. You'll be notified if you tick the little bell on any future updates and consider liking the video and show me, uh, show me some support and I would appreciate that. Hope you, uh, hope you found this information valuable. Like I said, have a great day and we'll talk to you on the next video. If